Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading for July 3rd through the 9th for anyone with a gem in their chart. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome. Be sure to check out your playlist for all your weekly and monthly readings. I do do the full moon um, shadow work readings that you can find in your playlist. I also have a timeless playlist where I'm doing a whole series on shadow work. Um, healing your inner child using the major arcana so feel free to check that out I just finished the lovers at the time that this is recorded okay so Gemini let's see what is going to pop up for you this week we're going to do a check-in um, we haven't done that in a few weeks through the zodiac before we do your weekly reading okay so if you're dealing with an Aries this week Seven of Cups, it's in the reverse, okay? That's a good thing. Someone's no longer confused. Somebody could have been feeling like they were in the dark, okay? Um, but somebody's making a choice. If that's you, I don't know. We're not clarifying, okay? But somebody's made a choice, okay? If you're dealing with a Taurus, we have the Queen of Cups. A lot of love here. A lot, a lot, a lot of love, okay? Good stuff there. Uh, there's a nice flow in that connection for sure. If you're dealing with um, a fellow Gemini, we have the Four of Swords in the reverse, okay? So this is an energy where someone is repeating, I feel, like a cycle of the past, okay? Um, maybe even triggering one another, not learning some type of a lesson or taking care of themselves, okay? Somebody could even be feeling a bit burnt out, okay? We will see on that. If you're dealing with a Cancer, we have the Two of Swords, interesting kind of like a stalemate it's a decision time okay someone doesn't want to make a decision but decision needs to be made something with it. having to do with a cancer okay if you're dealing with a leo we have the queen of wands in the reverse that's their energy right there okay um leo could be feeling jealous competitive this week okay um even seeming a little bit cold or selfish okay if you're dealing with a Virgo, we have the Three of Wands in the reverse. Virgo is changing up their mind, okay, either about what they want or there's some type of obstacle, okay, in their uh, path right now that's causing some type of a delay. If you're dealing with a Libra, we have the Hangman. There needs to be an ego surrender here, okay, because somebody needs to see someone else's point of view, a different side of something, okay, understand. Just a different perspective is needed to release some tension in this connection, okay. Oh, wow, a lot of those wanted to come out, and I saw the Nine of Swords, but we're not clarifying. <laughs> if you're dealing with a Scorpio, we have the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, okay, what you put in, you will get with your Scorpio relationships, okay? Someone could also, um, hmm, it's a very healing energy. Somebody could be coming at you with a gift, okay? There's a lot of kindness here. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, we have Five of Cups. Lots of sadness, okay? Sadness from the past, okay? Somebody could be carrying hurt, whether it's in your connection or it's just affecting your connection, okay? Um, but somebody's not seeing the bright side, okay? We'll leave that there. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, we have a page of cups. This could be an apology, okay? A love offer, possibly from someone even younger than you or someone from your past, okay? But it's some type of communication, okay? It's good stuff. Um, it's a surprise, I think it's funny I said that. It's a surprise because I'm not going to clarify. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, we have the Knight of Cups, okay? A love offer. One step above Capricorn, okay? This is um, very healing, okay? It has a lot of intention behind it. It is very romantic, okay? Um, if you're dealing with a Pisces, Three of Swords, sadness, heartbreak, okay? Somebody's feeling very hurt, again, whether that's in your connection or it's just affecting your connection this week, okay? Um, you may not even realize it. Pisces just might be quiet this week, okay? So take that as you will. 
So let's dive in here and get into what your weekly energy. If this reading does resonate, please, please, please be mindful to like the video, comment down below. It helps other Geminis find it video. It helps my channel and I love hearing from you guys. I'm so grateful. Okay. So let's take a look here. Okay. You guys are showing up in the four of wands. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. This is celebration. Okay. Um, mm, definitely success. Okay. It's usually, um, a big celebration. We see this when it's like there's a proposal or a marriage or we're taking something to the next level. This can even be closure, okay? So we'll clarify in a moment. What I think is very interesting is your challenge is the lovers. Luckily for you, okay, and I promise I will try to be mindful to link it below. I just did the shadow work video on the lovers. So the fact that this is your um, position this week, there is obviously a message there for you. Okay. I just put that out. So let's take a deeper look here, but your challenge is going to have a lot to do with putting yourself first, choosing who you want to be. Okay. How you show up in connections, right? Making sure that your values, okay. Um, are aligned with the person that you're sharing this connection with. So let's see, let's clarify the four of wands. We have the star, Aquarius energy, page of swords, king of swords. You could be dealing straight up with an Aquarius, a fellow Gemini, Libra, okay? But this is also your energy, right? Gemini energy here. Somebody is speaking the truth in the king of swords, okay? Um, they're communicating with the page of swords. They have some type of clarity here. They feel like they've learned something from observing. Um, I'm almost getting like watching someone's behavior. Like I've been watching you, right? I see you. Um, I have something to say. Now, this could be something that you have been wishing for. Okay, Gemini, really exciting. I just got goosebumps. The spirit's like, hell yeah. Okay, but this is also something that you had to earn. Okay, like karmically, right? Um, the divine sees you. You are moving towards this. You're in this uh, energy of brainstorming um, your most authentic life. Okay, your most authentic dreams, your most authentic goals, right? And that's really what I see you're wishing for. Again, there is a healing energy though. Something had to crumble, had to really be broken down, okay? Um, remember I said that the Four of Wands can mean closure. The fact that the star is clarifying this for some of you, that's absolutely closure, okay? Uh, let's clarify this lovers. This card wants to come out, let's see. The Four of Swords, yeah, lessons lessons learned healing boundaries this is a lesson in your values okay again who you want to be what you stand for what your purpose is even maybe okay and I feel like you have learned what you want in I want to say love okay the fact the lovers is here with the four of wands the magician in the reverse that's your energy okay um with the eight of coins interesting you feel like you know enough but that you can't do enough or that you don't have the power or that you haven't yet manifested i'm not sure there's a little bit of a negative mindset um flowing around this connection here whoever this soul connection is for you okay it is coming up a bit romantic but there's a lot of um air energy here right so this could be a very practical connection to a friendship okay a family member maybe even a co-worker that um you just feel deeply with you resonate okay there's a part of you guys that really get each other the eight of coins this is working hard okay um especially with each other it's routine What's interesting though, remember I said with the star, something crumbled, right? It's the same thing here in the eight of coins a little bit, okay? Something had to be sacrificed to make room for this, okay? This healing, this growth. And I see you carrying a bit of that with you, okay? Self-doubt, wondering if you can actually do this, if this will actually work, okay? Um, I'm going to move on from that. That's pretty deep in the energy, but I see you. Oh, well, the spirit sees you too, because the six of wands just flew out here. Okay. This means victory and success. So there's your sign. <laughs> uh, your focus is the queen of wands. Love this. Love this. What you're passionate about. Okay. Um, 
really just warm energy. I like this. It is fire energy, of course, but I'm getting like a warm embrace. It feels like home, whatever you're going after, okay? If it's a relationship with the lovers, okay? Or um, for some of you, I even get with this uh, Queen of Wands, it's very like entrepreneur energy. So you could be like starting your own business. Um, this could be like a promotion too with the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands. The three of coins just popped out here, okay? This is working together, a group setting, absolutely, okay? People that have the same goals, again, the same values, okay? They're working towards the same thing. And the fact that you have found that safe space to express that, um, it's really gonna allow that queen of wands energy to just flourish for you. Lots of creative energy there. Again, here's the uh, thing that had to come crumbling, right? The Ten of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you had to release something to go after this. You had to let go of something. And it's like as warm and as happy as this new chapter is, there's still darkness and pain that you're healing from. That's basically what this is saying, okay? Yeah, the King of Cups in the reverse. There's um, a lot of attachment, okay, to a situation. Um, feeling, I'm almost getting like an insecurity within you, not trusting in yourself, okay? Um, maybe even being triggered, okay? The King of Cups, this is emotions, okay? When he's balanced, my loves, I love it, okay? This is an energy that doesn't need anything external to be fulfilled. He provides that for himself, okay? Um, he's very aware, gender not specific, of how he feels, okay? The fact this is unbalanced, though, like sometimes this can be uh, called like a suicidal king, and I don't get that energy off of it okay but it could have been in the past or just the energy of i don't know how to live without this is really what's coming through okay in your past yeah the ace of cups in the reverse just popped out here so something's being blocked or left you feeling not enough okay drained in your past we have the king of wands in the reverse oh yeah this is you just feeling like you failed following your passions how interesting is that you could have had a failed business adventure, a failed relationship. This could have been um, that tower moment I referred to before that came before the star. Something that crumbled, something that had to be sacrificed. Five of cups, the two of cups, and the two of wands in the reverse. Yeah, something changed in the energy with a soulmate connection here, with a very deep connection. Okay, whether that was a full breakup it could have been absolutely of the five of cups and two of wands in the reverse, okay? But this could have also been just, um, there were some bumps in the connection, right? You weren't able to be on the same page ever, okay? It was strained. I really just want to say strained. The king of wands in the reverse, though, this may have been what ended up being the tower, okay? The five of wands in the reverse. Yeah, you just didn't want to be in that drama or feed toxicity, okay? In your strength position, we have the nine of wands. So you're fighting here. You are absolutely fighting. I mean, okay? And it feels like it's, you know, <laughs> the last quarter, right? Down to the final two minutes, like that kind of energy. I'm not even a sports person, but that's what it's like coming out as, okay? The Hierophant, Taurus energy, okay? Commitment. This could be a marriage, okay? Um, deeper though, and especially the fact that it's clarifying your strength position, something within you is fighting for this, okay? Or going to, um, I feel like almost wanting to say like overextend yourself, but you know that it'll be paid back, if that makes sense, the energy will balance. There's just this internal knowing, okay? The Hierophant is right behind this. It's um, spiritually driven. It's within you. It feels very purpose. I'm going to do this no matter how hard it is. I have to. It's part of my commitment to being here, my soul contract. Yeah, I'm getting chills. Spirit agrees. They're heavy too. <laughs> yeah, the Emperor in the reverse. But that's the same energy that we were seeing with that Magician in the reverse. It's just feeling like you... You're having that test of faith. Can I really do this? Do I have it within me? This is really hard. I never pictured it being this hard, right? I didn't sign up for this. Truth is also on your side. 
This is also an energy here, okay, for those of you, a specific message to not force anything. Take things step by step. Allow it to play out um, in divine timing, okay? Be very gentle here, okay? Again, don't try to manipulate, force, just flow in the energy of truth, even while fighting, right? Um, you're going to fight for yourself, but in a very gentle way, which is really the most powerful way you can. Going forward, we have the two of coins here. Let me clarify. Hmm. It's weird that I did that. Interesting. Okay, so we're trying to um, get some balance. Just keep the balance going, the scale balanced, okay? The tower in the reverse. We're trying to avoid the, another tower moment. We're still trying to recover, okay, from the loss that we had. Um, the Five of Swords in the reverse. We're trying to find a resolution after this shit show. Really, that's what it's saying, okay? Especially if there was a lot of in and out energy, okay? The Five of Swords can be like indecisiveness, that inner conflict, okay? I'm going for it. No, I can't. I'm doing this. I'm No, I can't. You've made a choice here. Ooh. Judgment. Self-evaluation. The card of morals and values, okay? Um, you're very spiritually, divinely protected here, Gemini. You have judgment. You have the Hierophant, the lovers, okay? All these, the star, right? We have literally the most divine card you can get in this deck with the fountain, Spirit is behind this wall, okay? Rest assured. Your advice is the Six of Swords to move into this new phase here, okay? Leave that indecisiveness in the past, okay? Once you have that moment of looking in the mirror, okay, and understanding what that soul contract is, why you're here, why you're so driven and drawn to a certain area, whatever that means, okay? Whatever that lover's energy is for you, okay? It's about putting your best self first, showing up your best self, okay? You have to be that person when you move on. You can't take that pain from the past. That magician in the reverse, the emperor in reverse, there's no room for it in this boat, okay? Clarify the six of swords for me. Yeah, the chariot in the reverse. Yeah, the magician and the eight of swords. There's still a lot of fear, okay? Um of the unknown really is what's coming here, okay? Not knowing what to expect. Um, a lot of worry and almost like wanting to give up, okay? Be very mindful of your thoughts, okay? That's what um, your advice is saying here. Don't manifest that give up energy. Don't talk yourself out of this new chapter. Something's very much in alignment for you here. What you don't see coming, the Ace of Wands. Whoa, that creative spark, okay? Could be love. <laughs> Knight of Cups, to clarify. Could absolutely be love. But it's going to make you very happy. Leo energy, the happiest freaking card in the deck. It's a rebirth. It's all about success, okay? Unity. And most of all, universal support, right? Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You'll finally have enough to give, okay? If you feel like you haven't had enough to give or it wasn't safe to give to a connection or give um, your heart away, okay? That's what's coming. You're going to feel safe. There's so much happiness here. The Sun, the Knight of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse clarifying the Ace of Wands and what you don't see coming. Beautiful. What a way to start out 2022. Happy New Year. Dang. <laughs> okay a message from your soul is the fountain okay the queen of cups in the reverse just tried to pop out so did the queen of wands in the reverse but i put it back in okay this is just a lot of fear okay those are your fears um you're never going to find love again you're never going to feel as passionate again you won't be successful okay the fact that the fountain is here is the divine going baby we got you <laughs> this is all about a cosmic oneness um your soul is awakening. You really are beginning to understand a very deep purpose um, that isn't going to fit with your ego anymore, okay? Yeah, three of cups. A beautiful, beautiful bond is coming, okay? Success, harmony, 
again, that energy for support and creativity, okay? The Three of Cups is beautiful, a beautiful connection. There's no room for that expectation or codependency. This is like a 5D energy in the 3D world, okay? Now, I love this to see this. There's a lot of major arcanas in your weekly reading, okay, Gemini this week. We're ending with the hangman in the reverse. Love it. You got the new perspective. You took the time out. There was a lot of tension. You looked at things from, again, um, a new set of eyes, okay? The Nine of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Listen, it may take a fight with somebody for you to see something differently, okay? But it's going to wake you up and you're walking into the Nine of Cups, okay? That's all about setting your attentions, having gratitude, celebrating, right? Um, planting seeds for a new life, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy here. I will close it off with a Romance Angel Oracle card for you guys. All of them want to come out. Wow. Healing family issues, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship, okay? Perhaps that is part of um, the hangman energy that you come to realize, right? But that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that this was helpful. Please like the video, comment down below, subscribe. But most of all, be kind and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.